Officials from the hardest hit countries are becoming a little more optimistic about the handling of the epidemic, but despite all the advances, the U.S. government is not taking any chances. They've imposed stricter guidelines for all passengers coming from Ebola-stricken countries. Nitsa Soledad Perez has this. All passengers coming from Ebola-affected countries into the United States will be monitored for 21 days. That is the most recent announcement from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as the U.S. government races to prevent an epidemic and calm the public's fears. Last week, the Department of Homeland Security, in combination with the CDC, implemented enhanced measures at five international airports. Passengers arriving from Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea will have to land at U.S. airports that include New York's JFK, Newark, Dallas, Atlanta, and Chicago to undergo additional screenings. But medical professionals in the private aviation industry believe that it should all start at the exit point when a passenger leaves the country. We have a lot of politicians screaming for quarantines, blockage of aircraft, uh, mandatory entry screening. Really, the money is much better spent, much more effective, uh, sending a smaller amount of money over for exit screening and helping folks. Since SARS, we learned that the best way to do it, to, to contain something, is to contain in where, where it is. So exit screening is the best, uh, most effective tool to do that. The common perception among the executives at this aviation industry convention is that fear is dominating the national response, not the medical facts.